Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about the Casa Blanca Rifa 13 gang. The Casa Blanca 13 gang is located in Riverside, California, which is a part of the Inland Empire. The Casa Blanca Rifas are primarily a Mexican American street gang located in the neighborhood of Casa Blanca. The Casa Blanca Rivas history dates back as far as the 1960s. The Casa Blanca means White House in Spanish, which is credited to Henry Benedict Lockwood. The Fern Street Gang, also known as the Casa Blanca Fern Street, dominates the west side of the Casa Blanca neighborhood of Riverside. The Vega Bundos is considered the largest and most active sub clique of the Fern Street Gang. This clique is also responsible for several murders in the Casa Blanca region of Riverside. Their name Fern Street originates from Fern Avenue between Madison Street and Gray Street. The Evans Street Gang, also known as the Casa Blanca Evans Street, is also named after Residential Street between Washington Street and Madison Street in the Villegas Park area on the east side of Casa Blanca. The Evans Street Gang has been active for over 30 years with several sub cliques such as the Devil Wolves and the Los Diablos as well as the White House. In 1975, two policemen and three residents of a Mexican-American neighborhood in Riverside were shot in bitter exchange of gunfire before dawn. A police helicopter was forced down after it was hit three times by gunfire, and shots also hit a low-flying sheriff's department airplane that was involved in a search for participants in the shooting. Scores of policemen began converging on an area of about one square mile on the fringes of Riverside. Stephen Clark was pulled from his pickup truck by a group of about 15 Mexican-American youths and shot, choked, and stabbed. As police officers approached the cornfield, they were greeted by shotgun and rifle ammunition. Subsequently, two police officers got in a city-owned dump truck and tried to drive into the cornfield, but the truck was hit by several rounds of gunfire. According to the police department, several of the assailants then jumped into the truck and drove off with Mr. Clark's girlfriend, who was later reported to have been released. The police alerted to the situation by nearby residents began pursuing the truck until the use ran to a four acre cornfield. The Casa Blanca Rifas and residents of the Casa Blanca Barrio are known for their brutal run-ins with the law and deadly altercations with the Riverside Police Department. In 1995, the Casa Blanca Rifas received national media coverage after shooting down a police helicopter and shooting the pilot with high-powered assault rifles. Spooky, also known as Spook G, is a Mexican-American rapper from the Casa Blanca White House clique of Evan Street. In 2010, Spooky released For The Hood album. The project also featured a song known as The White House, which is dedicated to his barrio clique. In the song, he speaks briefly about altercations between the Evans Street Gang and local law enforcement with lyrics such as, C to the B, where we shoot helicopters. On Christmas Day 2005, Martin Leva Valdez fired four slug rounds from a shotgun through the front door of a house. He killed an 11-year-old boy. He missed the boy's parents and brother who watched the boy die. He was a member of the Casa Blanca gang. The night before, on Christmas Eve, a member of the Hillside gang had shot and injured several members of Casa Blanca. Martin evidently intended to retaliate by firing to the house of the Hillside shooter. By mistake, however, he fired into a very similar house just three doors down away from the street. While making his getaway, Martin used a shotgun to menace a potential witness. There was also evidence that Martin forcibly stole a carton of beer from a stranger. Martin was charged with murder, three counts of attempted murder, assault with a firearm, gang enhancements, and robbery. Martin Leva Valdez was convicted of all charges and sentenced to life without parole, plus 70 years to life, plus nine years. On June 25th, 2017, around 9.15 p.m., Gabriel Cruz was shot to death at a gas station on Indiana Street in Riverside. The surveillance camera that captured the shooting showed Cruz 
working on his bike near the air and water pumps. A light-colored four-door sedan pulled into the parking lot and a passenger got out of the right front seat, walked around the back, and approached Cruz. Cruz stood up and the passenger shot him. Cruz collapsed to the pavement. The shooter returned to the car, which quickly left the scene. The video footage was not clear, but it showed a distinctive, large, shallow dent in the driver's side front quarter panel of the car. When police arrived, the victim's girlfriend was present. She said she had left the gas station on foot just minutes before the shooting. She said a white SUV pulled up when she was about a block or two away. She identified Vincent Aguilar as a passenger. And though she did not know him, her description of the driver matched Ortega. Ortega asked her where Cruz was and she directed him to the gas station. At that point, she said both Vincent Aguilar and Gabriel Ortega got out of the SUV and approached a silver sedan nearby. A woman in the right front passenger seat moved from the sedan to the white SUV and drove off. Aguilar got in the sedan's right front passenger seat and Ortega got in the back. A light-skinned Latina woman who matched a description of Ortega's girlfriend drove the sedan. They drove off in the direction of the gas station within a few minutes. Cruz's girlfriend said she heard gunshots. Fearing the worst, she hurried back to the gas station and found Cruz on the ground with multiple gunshot wounds. Police later identified the SUV as belonging to Ortega and the sedan as belonging to his girlfriend. Law enforcement obtained approval for a wiretap on the phones of Aguilar, Ortega, and Ortega's girlfriend. In the intercepted phone calls, Aguilar and Ortega discussed gang business and getting rid of the guns involved in the crimes. Law enforcement also seized the murder weapon at a home in Las Vegas, Nevada, where Ortega had been staying with his mother and her boyfriend. Cruz later died from the gunshot wounds. Vincent Aguilar and Gabriel Ortega, both active members of the Casa Blanca Rifa gang, along with the third woman, Jeanette Garcia, were charged with committing the first-degree murder of fellow gang member Gabriel Cruz.